Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best way hands down to install Cydia on your freshly jailbroken iOS 8 device. Now if you're watching this in the future just make sure that you're you got all your information correct because there might be a jailbreak out that will uh, automatically install Cydia so you don't have to do this but uh, for the last couple days since the jailbreak came out um, you know I've done a lot done this a lot and I've done it a lot of different ways and I think that I have the absolute best way to install Cydia on your device. There's a few different ways you can do it. Um, and, you know, the other ways I've had a lot of problems with in this one uh, works like a charm. It works every single time for me, at least. Hopefully it does for you. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is on our device is we're going to go ahead and go into the uh, Pangu application. And you need to install OpenSSH. Just go ahead and select on OpenSSH. Go ahead and click on install it'll run through there as you guys can see we'll go ahead and click ok and we're done we can exit out of the pangu app next thing you guys are going to want to do is go into the settings application go to wi-fi and you just click on that little i there to the right and it'll bring up your ip address uh, make sure you know what your ip address is because we're going to have to connect to our device via over the wi-fi so another thing i wanted to add here real quick is that if uh, you don't have Wi-Fi, you won't be able to do this because, like I said, we're going to SSH into our device. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump onto the computer now. So as you guys can see, I'm actually using CyberDuck to do this. Uh, if you're on Windows, you can use WinSCP. Um, everything that I mention in this video, you can find at the post on everything iDevice along with the written uh, directions. So that's where all the downloads are going to be. That's where everything is going to be that you guys need. So keep that in mind. So. Uh, as you can see, we're in CyberDuck here. So what we want to do is a, uh, establish a connection with our device. And make sure, uh, mine by default, I have this switched, but uh, most of you will have the file transfer protocol. You want to switch it to SFTP, which is SSH file transfer protocol. That's going to allow you to basically, you know, uh, SSH, as it says. So make sure you select on that. Now, the server is going to be your IP address. So we're going to go ahead and put in my IP address. You can leave it on port 22. That's perfectly fine. The username for everybody is going to be R-O-O-T, all lowercase. And then the password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Again, all lowercase. So we can go ahead and do connect. And as you can see, it's loading at the bottom there. Uh, just give it a couple of seconds here. It will connect to our device. If you get a uh, error message that, that pops up, you know, saying fingerprint, blah, 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 just say, okay, there, see, there you go, changed fingerprint. Just click on allow, that's okay. So we are connected to our device. Now, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is grab these two deb files. Again, you can find those at the post. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight both those and then drag and drop. And uh, you got a changed fingerprint. Again, allow that, it's fine. All right, so both the files are installed on our device. We can go ahead and click uh, close that real quick. And now the next thing we're gonna need to do is uh, a command. Now this is where a lot of issues have come. Um, a lot of people say to go into media, make a Cydia folder, make an auto install folder, drop those in there. That didn't work that great for me. Um, you know, it, it's like hit or miss. You have to like reboot like a bazillion times and then sometimes it'll work. Sometimes you have to go back in here and do it again. That's not what we want. We wanna do this the first time. Uh, and then also uh, there was, uh, well, we're going to need our, need our command here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this in. So this is the command you guys are going to want to do. Again, this can be found at everything I device. The post there, you can just uh, highlight and copy this command. Uh, this is the one that everyone was trying to use. I had such bad luck with that. This is the good one, guys. This is the good command. So let's go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Uh, now you're going to have to find um, on the Mac here on, on CyberDuck, in the menu bar you have a go button and you can go and click on send command uh, on WinSCP just find the command prompt little icon that looks like this and it's the same thing so let's go ahead and paste in the command and we'll click send so there you go now that's all we had to do you'll get a warning at the end don't worry about that that's all we have to do on the computer so now we're going to jump back over to our device all right now on your device what you're going to want to do is I say do a hard reboot every time. I, I would definitely say don't uh, hold the power button, slide the power off. What you're gonna wanna do is hold both the home button 
and the power button and do a hard reboot. So hold them both until the screen goes black and keep holding them until you see the, app, the Apple logo again. Again, I've had the best luck doing this. So there we go, and we're just gonna wait for it to boot up. I'll speed this up for you guys. Alrighty, and we're we're back up here. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide to unlock, and I'm gonna swipe over. Uh, no, we're not gonna do that right now. And there is Cydia right next to the Pangu app. First try every time. No ifs, ands, or buts. At least for me, and I've done. Uh, I've done it this method on three devices now and it's done it. It's worked perfectly the first try every time So uh, that's gonna be basically it I, again. I'll, I guess I'll open up Cydia and it'll start preparing the file systems um, Just let it run through that course and then it will respring your device And then you'll be good to go to go into Cydia and start downloading your favorite jailbreak tweaks apps and themes Well, I wouldn't really recommend themes right now as winterboard forced me to do a complete restore on my iPhone 6 So I wouldn't download that yet. I would wait on it. But anyways guys uh, that's basically it for this tutorial. Again, like I said, everything can be found on the post at my at everything I device, along with you know the command, the downloads, also the uh, you know the like Cyberduck and WinSCP. I'll have the downloads for everything there, guys, and also the written tutorial. So if this helped you out at all, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask down in the comments. And if you guys want to see more iOS 8 coverage, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.